Hello guys, this is Lotto. Today I'm to talk about stills very shortly. So I was I was being asked about a lot of people what is really the difference between the powder steel and conventional steels. And some of you guys and also a lot of videos on the internet have seen really um, comparing both of conventional steel. Is it really uh, worse than uh, high tech powder steel? Is the um, powder steel is much better than the conventional steel? Now, what's the really difference? Is the power seal meaningful and everything? I'm just going to show you the typical example what kind of conventional seal um, have a flaw in, in them. So, uh, this is the powder seal from um, Chardonnay. This is N690. It's a powder seal, um, high carbon seal. It's a similar to Japanese cutlery seal called BG10. Um, N690 is a premium, premium stainless seal. I'm a very big fan of um, N690. They are easy to sharpen. They get they get super super sharp. They stay sharp and everything. Now this is the uh, conventional steel, and uh, I just want to show you exactly what's really wrong with the conventional steel um, from being a manufacturing process being conventional. So as you can see here, guys, if you see see these things closely here. Can you see this mark over here like this and then you see a pinhole over here yeah and also here yeah i can almost touch it with this pen yeah this thing almost looks like crack crack but then it's not it's more of um overlap of steel um, being forged and uh it became a little bit of left a mark where it welded through being overlap yeah and has a pinhole now it's not really a hole it's just a um, pin of mark it's not through the steel I mean it's just a pin now this is the typical flaw of a conventional steel and this is why it gets the problem um, when it comes to high high-end uh, manufacturing process or uh, when it comes to your creating artwork or if you're trying to use the steel some sort of a high precision uh, mechanism it has a flaw inside because of the oxidation because of the inclusion and uh, just because the steel uh, while melting it down if you mixture in steel and then you draw out and then you forge it into billets and you make it into thin piece of steel uh, some of the steels are not um, homogeneous so they are uh, mixture of different alloys now because of the oxidation this happened then there's this kind of pinhole is also could be a air bubble gap or it could be also the oxidation problem uh, there are a lot of reasons why this kind of flaw happens and uh, you never know until you make knives or you make the parts um, until the finish because as you grind down this might be exposed to the air because it was uh, not it was not able to see it uh, because it was covered by another layer of steel, but then if you remove the steel now, uh, it's visible. So um, You never know until you reach it to final um, stage um, uh, This is the why this type of combination of steel has a flaw inside um, Because of the, it's just you know, it's unavoidable. It's just a, it's bound to happen. Yeah um, So if you have a really high-end expensive knife, so if you have this in your knife I mean that's a disaster right so as a maker also it's good to have it um, as a powder steel and also customer also it's better to have it like this you, know, you don't want never have these in your um, expensive custom knives uh, so that's why so if I show you another example here again very clean you know? That is it so yeah that's why this type type of um, powder steels are much better in artwork or expensive work they're just flawless they're clean they're clean steel without any flaw so on a looks a, on a macroscopic level this is how it's how it's different of course microstructure level it's uh, it's also um it's a, there's a huge difference is a lab test also a lot of difference 
but just to just to show you guys what's really up with this convention conventional steels this is the reason why yeah so i hope this video helps you a little bit choosing what kind of steel you want for your future tools i hope this video helps you as always i'll see you guys next video bye bye